It was about his uh, friend who had some uh, disease that made her lo uh, lose her eyesight. And uh, he was just very connected to her. So he named the band after her story. Wow. That's... Yes. yes. Wow. wow. Do we know what her last sight was? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> perhaps, sorry, a, yeah. perhaps a doctor. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Uh. This video is brought to you by Try the World. We'll hear more about them later, but for now, let's get on to today's video. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music, wherever it may be, and the people that make it, including my guests. And my guests today are two members of a metalcore band based in Tel Aviv. <clears throat> that's another band I found on TikTok. I've been doing that a lot lately. They have over 25,000 TikTok followers and almost 58,000 Spotify listeners. Their new single, Zero, is out. I'm sorry, their new single, Hope, is out now. Please welcome to the channel, Her Last Sight. Say hi, guys. Hey, guys. Hi, everyone. <laughs> hi. Thank you for watching. Did I? Well, am I correct? Is Hope is the new single? Yeah, Hope is the new single. Zero, zero, was the zero is the previous single. <laughs> yep, excuse me. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right, so uh, check, stick around. We're going to be seeing the music video for Hope, the official music video, after this interview. And I'm looking forward to it. But right off the bat, I just want to say uh, I hope that you and your families are doing, you know, are, are okay. I know that right now is a kind of a crazy time where you live. And, and we're gonna mm -hmm. we're gonna leave we're gonna leave politics and religion out of this interview. This is all about just the band and, and music, and uh, you know, going through your music, I can see that you're you're all about the music, and so that's where we're at. If you have any comments about this, viewers, feel free to drop them in the comments, but be nice. Now then, we have first of all, if you don't know who Her Last Sight are, thank you for watching. Go ahead and tell them who you are and what you do in the band and who we're missing. I'm Ofek, I'm the guitarist. Uh, I play most of the time rhythm, sometimes leads, but uh, that's me. <laughs> Alon? So I'm uh, Alon. Alon. Um, I'm the drummer and uh, I do not play any lead guitar because I'm the drummer. <laughs> <laughs> but you wrote many of them. But I write a lot of the guitar parts. So Ofek is like, uh, I tell him what to do. <laughs> nice. So you, you play guitar like a drummer. <laughs> yes. Right on. And who are we missing? Uh, oh. We have uh, Shai, the other guitarist. Uh, also, we have uh, Liron, is our uh, bass player and also doing the clean vocals. And Nir, uh, doing the screams. Excellent. Yes. There's a chance we can mute that. The notification. Ah, yes. <laughs> Yeah. So I'm it was uh, from my, my WhatsApp. It was open on my computer. It's okay. I, yes, have, no. I have a feeling it's not that, that it's just, just going to keep going throughout the interview. So he's, uh, he's yeah. a very popular man. Yes, yes. <laughs> I don't get that many notifications anymore, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, so, by the way, if you want to be like Ofek and so along, sorry. Uh, if you want to be on featured on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using my email address down below or by clicking the Room Six social media link. That's also where you'll find all the things I'm up to online, ways you can support the channel, like buying sweet merch at Room Six Shop, and what the heck, go ahead and click the like, the share, and the subscribe buttons. It all helps, and I thank you. All right, that's all the YouTube crap out of the way. <laughs> let's, let's talk music. So, right off the bat, why the name? Who who came up with her last site? So okay, the sorry. yeah. Uh, so the name of the band was uh, uh, the the original vocalist before uh, Nir. His name was Omer. He came up with the name for the band before uh, before Nir was in the band. It was about his uh, friend who had some uh, disease that made her lo uh, lose her eyesight, and uh, he was just very connected to her. So he named the band after her story. Wow. That's yes. Yes. Wow. wow. Do we know what her last sight was? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> perhaps, sorry, yeah. perhaps a doctor. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> interview's going great. All right. So uh, I want to start off with kind of one of my more usual interview questions that uh, OG Room Sixers, they, they know this question. I want to talk, what's your earliest musical influence? And by, by that, I mean, do you remember a moment where you said, I want to do that? Uh, for me, it's probably a uh, bullet for my Valentine. Uh, but uh, I remember as a kid, I watched a lot of um, concert on YouTube, a Rock and Ring Festival, and I, I remember that I, I always wanted to be there, to perform there. So since I was a kid, I think that was the, the thing that made me, make me want to do it. For me, it was uh, when I was in the third grade, so around eight years old, um, I was hanging out with my friend and uh, he, he said to me, let me show you this uh, cool song. I wasn't even listening to any songs, you know, I was only eight. Uh, let me show you this cool, cool song. And then he put on uh, In the End by Linkin Park. And it blew my mind instantly. I was ob obsessed, obsessed for like four years with Linkin Park. And uh, then like a year later, I started playing guitar and uh, the rest is history. Nice, nice. Uh, Linkin Park was the gateway for a lot of different um genres of music like a lot of people who became rappers or they became drummers or you know became screamo uh vocalists but the guitar as well it, it's all it's a well crafted sound they've got um yep. so from there you guys have been how long have you been a band in this current lineup um um uh, I think uh, five years now, but uh, Liron, our bass player, um, joined only after the one. Out. Yes, uh, but he was always part of the band because when we recorded the first album, he doing the mix and master, and also he wrote most of the lyrics for the first album and the and the melodies. Oh, wow. melodies for the, vo the vocal melodies. Yeah, yes. and. Uh... And actually, we want him to be uh, in in the band from the from the start, but he didn't want. No, 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 no! Don't say that, Ron, the original <laughs> vocalist, that he won't hear you. <laughs> fight, fight! <laughs> no, he, I, I, he didn't have the time at the moment, and one year after, uh, he said that he want to be part of the band, and um, we had a, a different uh, bass player uh, called Ron, but. Um, it just uh, didn't work, so... And actually, uh, even me and Ofek and Liron and Nir, our current uh, Scream vocalist, all of us were in a band together before, Herla Sight, called uh, Dream Escape. We had an album together. So, in a way, this, like, 70% of this lineup we've been playing for almost 10 years. But as Herla Sight, it's five years now. Nice. All right. Yes, it was, I think, uh, also... Her last side started with me and the other guitarist, uh, Shai. And we had a different uh, lineup. It was me, Shai, and three other people. And at the same time, Alon and Liron found me on Instagram and asked me to join Dream Escape. Our so other I <laughs> Her last side and Dream Escape, but Her last side, uh, we didn't have uh, any song released yet or something. And then the three other people in the band decide to leave and then Alon and Nir they join to her last side and so it was let me just mention even more like trivia that in Dream Escape I was playing guitar and Nir the vocalist for her last side he was playing bass and later on the bassist for her last side he was the vocalist it's like so musical like, chairs yeah we, 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 we all just you know we play a show hey guys we're Dream Escape then we move one instrument to the right, we're her last sight. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. That's, that's awesome. Um, that's like having, you, 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 have you both bands been on the same bill before? Uh, only only once that we did. It was not, not like an official uh, Dream okay. Escape uh, show, but uh, we played four songs by by the band in a show, in a her last sight show. Very cool. You can play your own covers. Yep. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was the first time I played those songs on drums. Oh, wow. Uh, so from there, I wanted to, the reason I asked that question is, um, you've been doing a lot of shows, you've been playing together for a while. What is your favorite or like most memorable show memory from performing? Uh, either, you know, just performing in general. 
And it doesn't have to be necessarily like a really good memory. It could be some, things went way off the rails and went crazy. Uh, or, I, or, or you checked off a lot of Rockstar wish list. You know, I wanted to say something I'm good. Sure, but I, wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure that both me and Ofek have the same best memory and same worst one. <laughs> so the, the best one, I think, is uh, we played in uh, the venue Reading 3 in Tel Aviv. Uh, we opened for the band uh, Shredhead, and we had, I think, uh, a thousand people in the audience. So it was by far the biggest uh, show we've made, and it's a legendary venue. And the worst one, I let Ofek say because it's uh, concerning to him. Okay, so we had some problems with the other guitarist, and he didn't show up to the show. <laughs> uh oh. Also, Alon, it was a time that Alon wanted to show as much as we can. So we book a, a really bad show with... 10 people. To... Ten, 10 people in the audience, maybe. <laughs> I have done that. It was, it, it was not our show. We just uh, joined the lineup. Yep. And then uh, you can the, see... The cherry, the cherry on top. You can see the guitar in the back, the bullet from a Valentine, the black one. Nice. Yep. He broke it! He broke it! We finished the show and I lay, lay it on the wall and oh. it just fell on the ground and broke the headstock. And it was the worst show with one guitarist, 10 people in the crowd, and I broke my guitar. That's metal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, so, and, you, and you've never done it again, right? Uh, not yet. <laughs> Did, did you ever, is it repaired? Did you get it repaired so you can play it? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Oh man, that's yeah. I, I we we've all had that that moment of just yeah. watching something fall. <laughs> so, all right. Um, so from there, I wanted to um, ask: Have you played outside your your country at all? So uh, not. Not yet. Uh, so far, all of our shows have been uh, inside Israel, but uh, we're working and uh, hoping to get a, at least a European tour going in uh, 2025. And uh, hopefully uh, even a, a USA tour or a Canadian, some dates, um, because we definitely have... Uh, Most have of the, our have, listeners. Have the, yeah, listeners and uh, fans way more in Europe and uh, the USA than here. Um, so we're working on that. I think 90%, 90% of, of our followers and listeners are not from Israel. The metal, metal sensor is uh, not uh, too big. So we have limits, I think. So uh, how many yep. people uh, listen to us here? Uh, also, people like, uh, in Israel, people like more metal, trash metal, less metal core, I think. So... Yep. Uh, well, and also, also, it's it's very hard for us uh, from Israel to book show in Europe and uh, uh, the USA and the USA. And uh, but we want to do it uh, this year. I think uh, also we talked about it last year, but then the war started, so we had to yeah. wait for uh, with it. And now things are a little bit better. So understood and and I, I i maybe you guys are, are going to be like the the forerunners of the metalcore scene there the what yes. sorry maybe you'll you'll maybe you'll help make metalcore like a big part of the scene there sometimes oh like, maybe 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 yeah. maybe maybe it's a small country and not yeah. very, not so many people like metal at all so but uh, yes we are small, trying to do it a small population and even a smaller percent of metalheads but that's what makes it a community, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. But a small community. <laughs> yeah. I mean, see, I I moved here from Las Vegas, and that music scene is so oversaturated that while it's great that any you know any local band can can end up playing Hard Rock Cafe or you know one of the big stages at at one of the casinos, um, it's there's so many that it's really hard um to to. Yep. it's hard to grow a fan base that that isn't just like oh well i'll be here next week to see whoever's playing i don't care you know or you know if, if you sell them well we're playing the place just down the street next week they don't want to move they this is their place to see live music they don't care they don't want to make the effort whereas if you go 
say up here in the Pacific Northwest, there's only a few places that have live music of, of any sort, anything bigger than somebody playing a, an acoustic guitar in a coffee house. So yeah. if some if they if they come, you're and you are like, oh, cool, I get to see them. You're going to go to that show no matter how much it costs. And as a band, they take they what I hear is they take really good care of of you know anytime you go on a, a little tour outside of your area you always get more money out of the deal if you are smart about your finances and you always get treated better because you're a special thing that's not here all the time. So yes, there, are, there are not also uh, so many bands here. So yeah. yes, I... the, the, part, the, part, the part that you said about uh, having like uh, people just going out to the same bar or club every week and seeing whoever is playing, mm-hmm. to, that total, totally doesn't exist over here because like there wouldn't be a band playing just randomly because the are also not like enough bands to just be playing randomly in any club right. uh, and every, everyone knows all the bands because there are so few of them yes yeah. uh, also i think it's also also the reason why uh, not many big bands come to israel mm-hmm. because it's i think for the bands uh, it's hard and uh, very expensive to come here but not enough audience uh, for example i think uh, parkway drive and bring me was here in 2010 but they was a uh, very small uh, bands and not like like today but today i don't think they will ever come here because there is not enough audience mm-hmm. it's depend the band definitely. i think definitely we have, yeah. in israel we have a big fans of uh, metallica and, and event sevenfold disturbed so avenge was here and uh, they want to come uh, i think sec- uh, for the second time But uh, it's not for the whole band. I think it's it all, all, uh, only some bands that people yeah. really like here. Gotcha. Well, hey, you'll have to make it big, and then you can come, you know, be the hometown heroes and come play, and uh, yeah. all, of, all of Israel can be there. Yeah. That, that's what we're uh, that's what we're aiming for. <laughs> right on. All right. Well, from there, we're going to take a quick little break here and hear a message from future Josh. So we'll see you in just a minute. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. As some of you know, I enjoy the occasional whiskey on this channel. Tasting and reviewing whiskeys makes me feel so... gourmet. And that goes for trying out food from other countries, too. Sometimes I wish I could take a tasting trip around the world. Fortunately, there's Try the World. Try the World is the first gourmet tour around the world, but with no plane ticket needed. Just go to trytheworld.com and subscribe to receive a gourmet box from a different country like France, Japan, or Brazil every month. Discover a dozen of the best gourmet and cultural finds in each box, accompanied by beautifully illustrated culture guides explaining how to enjoy the food. Their site offers gift boxes, the premium signature boxes, and the very affordable snack boxes. I'm all about the snack box because you get five different snacks from five different countries every month. Normally, Snack box subscriptions are 19 bucks a box, but you do get a discount for an annual commitment. That's a price even musicians can afford. Just for watching this video, and for being part of Room 6, and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get $10 off your snack box order by entering the coupon code SNACKBOX10 at checkout. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Thanks to Try the World for being a sponsor, and let's get back to today's show. We're back, and if that sponsor spot interested you at all, please consider clicking the link down below to get whatever savings it is. I don't know what the sponsor spot was for, but you'll save some money, I'll make some money, and it's a win-win. Now then, uh, stick around. We're going to be seeing the music video for Hope from her her last site. I almost said her dying wish. I don't know why. But, but oh, no. <laughs> that, that, that was her dying wish, maybe. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so... Real quick, we talked about earliest musical influence. We talked about like a, a most memorable show memory um, and, and playing, you know, someday playing outside of, of Israel. But I wanted to talk about the, how do I phrase this? <laughs> you can just go, man. No, no, I'm trying to put words together in my head. <laughs> this is not a question I wrote down. So that, that's my problem. I'm, I'm thinking on the fly. It hurts to think so um what is what is the biggest musical aside from the aside from breaking the the guitar you just got given <laughs> so uh, what is like the biggest musical 
missed opportunity that you, you would love another shot at? Hmm. That's an interesting question. I think, can we, can we like, uh, use each other as a phone, uh, yeah. friend? Yeah. Yeah. So a friend. <laughs> Yeah, as 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 we share, what is the most important thing to do? What are we going 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 to do? What to be honest, uh, there's there are no uh, so many uh, opportunity ideas. I don't know I know. I just I just I don't think we can come up or that we have any big missed opportunities i think uh i don't know we, 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 we i don't know we've only had a few like we didn't get any big uh big breaks as you say uh and we seized every opportunity that we've had so far um all right i mean i i just i don't know sometimes, you know when you figure you you got over fifty eight thousand people listening on spotify to your music and over twenty five thousand tiktok followers i figured maybe there was like you know some some bigger things had had, had kind of slipped through your fingers um because the bigger you get the more opportunities come generally so all right look good on you i mean keep it up it, it was an excellent question i wish we'd have an interesting answer for you <laughs> yeah so from there do you have um a like a dream is there something that you're working towards like a dream show other than just playing you know bigger shows do you have something in, in particular uh dream show for me i think it's um, maybe to open for bullet or one of my favorite bands like uh, parkway drive but if you are talking about venues, for me, I think it will be Rock and Ring Festival. All right. How are you? Um, yeah, something uh, similar. I, I would love to play uh, one of the big uh, American festivals, actually. We, we've never been like to the USA at all, but uh, all the festivals, they seem bigger and more, just more bigger than, than, than Europe. So that's my right. dream. To play American I mean, festivals and uh, tour USA and uh, there are some cool venues I know uh, yeah. over the world. I, I know uh, thanks to social media. I know uh, I think yesterday when we were young, uh, which was a big yeah. like emo. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. I saw the lineup. Yeah, it's when, amazing. When, I, I know that that opened in Las Vegas yesterday, and there's somebody made a TikTok where they're they're in like a hotel room or whatever and they're like look at them go and, and people are racing to be the first to touch the barricade be the first and i'm like why <laughs> you know like like it's not you're gonna stand there for hours and not move yeah, from the nice. audience from the audience perspective i agree with you but uh from the band perspective yeah something like that is like beyond it's like a dream oh, yeah. i guess yeah <laughs> Anyway, also, um, this festival has a cool lineup and cool concept. Like I saw that uh, every band is playing uh, some old cool. album from yeah. to back, like uh, uh, Omsic by Day to Remember. I think and Michael, Michael Michael Romance and Dance Game and Dance and all those bands, they play the full album. So cool. Because why wouldn't they? I mean, they, they, they know <laughs> that they know they got a built-in audience ready to go and and uh, you know yep. I mean, new, new new music is great and all but i, I came for the nostalgia so yeah. yep yes. i love that nostalgia. Right. yeah right so all right uh speaking of hope the the music video we're gonna see you guys have done you know done a, a fair few uh videos and uh the TikTok game is on point i, I have to say gentlemen I, I i like what i'm seeing there who handle <laughs> who handles like the the um the production and the the, the 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 idea for you know the the visuals okay so uh we are doing all by ourselves if it's uh, the music videos and the mix and the production uh, recording everything by ourselves wow. so um, our music videos uh Liron, our bass player is the one uh, who doing them and edit and everything also is the one who edit the TikTok videos. Most of the TikTok ideas uh, are, are mine and sometimes uh, Liron, it's me and Liron uh, doing that. Uh, but uh, I think that I realized that today you can grow and 
it's the only way to use the TikTok, Instagram, YouTube shorts. Um, also, uh, you know, we are from Israel and we don't have a big metal uh, scene here, so we need to get people out of out of Israel to know us. Uh, to know us, yeah. so uh, I think the, the TikTok and the funny videos, uh, it's it's the the right way. The, the perfect it. way. The perfect way to gain an audience outside of our, our own country. Because people don't like that you promote something to them, like uh, hear our new song. Nobody's scared, but if you're doing a funny video and then people listen to the song and then, you know, they are enjoy the video and say, oh, it was a good song. They are looking for it. And this is how we, we go our audience, I think. And also, also like, like you keep saying here, uh, if the video looks authentic, then uh, yeah, then the people love it. You know, way yeah. more than, you know, way more than saying, check out our new song. <laughs> yeah, so we're doing a funny video with the song and let people uh, go listen to it. Yeah, it's a model that I've seen many a, a band that's been on the channel actually uh, follow that they are, you know, it, and I, I think it works because you're invested in whatever the skit or whatever the funny thing happening yeah. in the video, but you're also hearing the music. So when you hear the music, you immediately think of, you know, her last sight. So, all right. Last question. You made it. Yay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and again, my, my, my longtime Room 6 fans will, will know what's coming. I always, I ask this of all my prey. I, I always finish an interview with this if I can. We're going to circle back to that earliest musical influence question. And we're going to jump in our time machine, gentlemen. Okay. We're going to go back and... What is one quite one thing that you wish you could have told yourself when you said, I want to do that, that, that hey, you're going to need to know this before you start doing this. And it, it doesn't have to be bad. It could be uh, this is going to happen. But uh, don't say change your strings. Uh, I think I, I would, um, I don't know, maybe start earlier. And honestly, that, that's what a lot of people say, is, is myself included. I didn't start playing, messing around with guitar and songwriting until I was in college. But, uh, no, so I started to play uh, when I was 13, but most of my friends uh, when I was at school and the uh, army at the time didn't listen to metal. So I didn't even know what the metal scenes. I was played at home. And then uh, after the army, when I was 21 or 22, I uh, met the other guitarist, Shai, and we just start looking for uh, people. Um, so I think uh, that's my my answer. Also, uh, no, that's it. That's it. <laughs> you know, you know what I would tell myself. I would tell myself, man, you're a drummer, yeah. not a guitarist, because I, I started <laughs> with guitar. I, I started with guitar when I was ten, and I used to <laughs> consider myself a guitar player, like up until. Pretty much up until her last I started. So when I was, I think, 22. So it's 12 wasted years that I, I just, I knew how to play drums a little bit, but I wasn't taking it seriously. I wasn't very good. And I considered I myself even... a guitar oh. player. And I considered myself a guitar player way more. Um, but there's no way, man. I'm a drummer. That's me. <laughs> so I should have started even... practicing at 10. I didn't even know that Alon is a. Uh know how to play drums i think i i just remember he told me i will be the drummer and i was you you, you know how to play drum and i was very surprised when i saw him play drums because he and, was and then very... and then when Ofek offered me to be her last size drummer that's when i had to like step up my game and i had to start practicing a lot on the drums i was i was like okay you know but i wasn't good uh, and I had to practice a lot uh, when I started with her last night, but I wish, I wish I started like way earlier. I couldn't say it any better. And yeah, uh, if you knew musicians out there, start now. <laughs> like, like yes. it, wh whenever it is, it's not too early and it's not too late. So uh, yep. right on. Well, with that, thank you very much for watching. And thank you, gentlemen, for being on the channel. Stick around. We're going to see the music video for Hope, and then we'll catch you in the outro. In the meantime, we'll temporarily say goodbye. See you in a few. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. No worries.
I want to thank Ofek and Alan from Her Last Sight for coming on the channel. It was a great interview, awesome music video. If you want to know more about them, hit that uh, social media links down in the description. And if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you want to subscribe, click over there. Don't forget to ring the bell. And if you want to hear my own music, which is definitely not metalcore, click over there. <laughs> Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6. Say goodbye, guys. Thank you so much for having us, and goodbye to everyone. Thank you. He cut you off. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Ofik. <laughs> <laughs>